Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Hoover Lux. Welcome, bienvenido. Kroistui, assalamu alaikum, konnichiwa, welcome. Today I've got two parcels here that arrived this morning. I've been waiting for them last week. So you're going to be able to tell from the title, obviously, which one it is, but actually when I'm making this, I don't know which one is in each box. So I'm not sure which one to open first. So I'm going to have to kind of do uh, kind of like what we used to do at school, which is eeny meeny makaraka rai rai dominaka chicken aka pushki out. As fair as fair as it can be, it cannot be no fairer. The one that comes to number seven is on it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is the one that I'm going to take out first. So let me just move this one out of the way. This one I'm going to do for a separate video because, oh that's dark, uh, because um, it's a different machine. Let me see if I can adjust the brightness. That's a bit better. Okay, right, so let me just move this out the way. I love the way that these are packaged because they look very, very good. Let me see if I can just move you down because you don't want to see my ugly mug. You want to see what's in the boxes. There we go. So, let's start taking the packages apart. Zach, stop whinging. It's Halloween tonight. And because Zach is not very good with other dogs, then he has to stay with me. So, let's take this off. Ooh. There's a lot, oh no, it's broke. Right, so first of all, we have a wand. These are all refurbished machines. So there's the wand. There's some packing cardboard around it. packing cardboard around it and now I'm gonna lift it out boom and there she is so what do we have here we have a, oh, a Dyson a broken Dyson hmm So unfortunately, let me take you off the camera. Hang on, let me stop you. So unfortunately, in this Dyson, we have quite an important broken part, <laughs> which is the part that uh, is the intake valve. There, that's completely broken. Not to worry. I just wanted these vacs because um, to keep in the collection. I am not going to be using them greatly at all. Zach, stop whinging. Oops, there goes the hose. I'll take the top off. There's some damage here on this handle. But again, not a major problem. So I think this one is the DC-07, I think. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, okay, let me just get the rating sticker, which is underneath. So this is a refurbished Dyson. DC-07. 122-UKL44843. Uh, there we go. So that is the Dyson. So let me just stand her back up. 
There we go. Whoop, and its hose has fallen off. Now there's also, well, I said about the damage on the top of the handle, which is there. I'm not gonna be precious about it because I didn't pay that much for them to be honest. So I'm not really fussed. I mean that, I can get a part for that. That's not gonna be expensive. And this top part here, I can just tape it up at the back. I'm not precious. I don't particularly even like Dyson's. I just wanted them to, uh, to keep. So let me put you back on the tripod. Okay, so there you are. So let me put the hose back on. That fits in fine. Oops. There we go. That's in place. That's the dust, the cyclones. It's got no tools with it. Not a problem. Again, tools are not difficult to come by. Like I said, I didn't pay much for it. Right, let's wind the cord on. So I don't really know much about this DC-07. I have no idea when it was produced. I didn't have one of these DC-07s. Uh, full gear, off, on and off. Okay. Or off completely for hard floors. As you know, all you Dyson fans, you know more about these than I do. Push it down. Now this is the filter, I think, isn't it? There we go. That's back in place. Right, so what I'm going to do, until I get a new one of these, I'm just going to have to put a piece of masking tape around it, or the, um, actually, it's by here. <coughs> So what I'm going to do, let me wind you down. There we go. Quite like that colour scheme. I can see little bits of purple, I'm sure that they're from um, what's been used from other vacuums. So, I'm just going to put a little bit of tape on this. Just temporarily. Because these were extremely cheap. As in extremely. So I'm just going to do that. Excellent. That will do for now. So I'm going to move the box out the way and I'll switch it on. Right, so here is the DC-07, let's plug it in. Now, I think this is going to be a screecher. It reminds me of my mum's DC, I think it was a DC-01, DC-02, I can't remember. It was um, yellow. So I'll plug it in. Oops. So it was already switched on. The motor sounds okay. Suction through the handle at the top, that's okay. Right, let's try it.
<laughs> okay, that wasn't too bad. The suction on it's really good. Uh, let's have a look and see what's in the dirt bucket. So, these were the ones. God, you know, I can't even remember with these. Uh, that's for the bottom bit. It's pulled out a little fur ball. Well, I don't know if you can see. But it's pulled up some carpet fibres, so that's really good. I can't remember how you take the bucket off. Well, I can't remember. I don't know how to take the bucket off. I think it just comes off like this. <laughs> I bet all your purists are going, You're doing it wrong! That's the release valve. Come on, there's got to be a way to get this off. Ugh. Oh God, hang on, we're having technical issues. Hang on a second. Okay, I've worked it out. You actually have to have this flap open on the bucket in order to release it. So there we go. So it's been cleaned, the shroud and everything. I don't know about the cyclones, but it looks pretty clean to me. It's got quite a big. It's got quite a big bucket. The bucket on the old ones are really big. It's like a proper, proper, proper bucket size. So there we go. Oop, bit of fluff. Right, I'm pop it back in. Oh, hang on, there's a filter here at the bottom. But again, I can't remember how you take this off. I think this is you had to. I think you had to pop it off. Hang on, let me get a screwdriver. like three hooks oh yeah there we go so it's got a HEPA filter fitted into it some carbon dust on it but it's in uh, pretty good condition Good. The motor sounds does sound good. Pop that back on. Pop this bucket back on. Now, these are purely going to be for me to keep and not to be used that often. I'll, I am going to do a quick demo now. I'm just going to scatter down some rice or some of my bag of filth because that's not actual dirt and filth as such is just some dry sort of like particles so I will scatter some of them down and we will do a little bit of a demo okay so I put down some bits we're going to give it one pass through and back and see how it performs Okay, I think that did really well, actually. It uh, picked up everything there that was in that one line. As you can see it, it's in the dirt bin. Um, I'm going to pick up the rest because this is literally just a very quick uh, unboxing and very quick demo video tonight. 
So I'm going to lower you down and we'll see how it performs on picking up the rest of the okay, stuff. Okay, let's pick up the rest of this bit. Okay, there we go. It picked up everything it was supposed to. And as you can see, it's all in the bin. There, with some other bits of fluff as well. It did really well, actually. I'm really, I'm really impressed, but this has been refurbished. Unfortunately, it's got that broken part at the top, but it's got a 60 day guarantee with it. So, I'm not really that fast, to be honest. Millie, will you stop eating the bits of blimmin' sawdust? Oh, stupid dog. Um, so I'll see if they can send me out a replacement bit of this and and that. And if not, I'm not really fast. I'm sure I can get it somewhere. There's a gazillion people. All you collectors out there who collect these, they've got bits and bobs everywhere. So I can see that this is in purple and this is in purple. So I wonder if this is supposed to be in purple. I don't know if it was completely red or whether this was supposed to be the um, sparkly purple maybe it maybe it was supposed to be like that because the shroud looks a bit purplish doesn't it Millie it looks a bit purplish so there we go my old Dyson I never had this I never had this I can't remember which one I had it was the pets one anyway it was it was the one before the ball then I had the one which was the ball that was a pets one as well and we won't mention that one but i will mention it again and um so i thought well i'll get a couple of the old ones so i thought i'd get this one as it was very cheap i got another one to unbox now in a minute now in a minute so there we go that is my dc07 um what year i have no idea how to date these things so i hope you've enjoyed watching this quick unboxing i will do some more demos with it um and the other ones as well oops let the cat out of the bag and um, i will see you all in the next video very soon bye guys